If you handle the marketing for your own business, you've been blasted with this advice for the past decade. You'd want to make a YouTube video. Oh, you have to do video. Video content is the way to go. You put out amazing videos and then more of them. But what all these marketing gurus aren't telling you is that there's actually a scientific reason why you need to be using video in your business. And once you unlock this secret, you're gonna understand how to tap into a really powerful connection with your prospects, making your business unstoppable. Picture yourself back in the 1950s, lounging on your plastic covered couch, eyes glued to the black and white television set. There you are watching your favorite TV personality as they make you laugh, sell you cigarettes, and pretty much just make you feel like you're in the room with them. It's like they're your close friend, but you've never even met them. How could that be? People were watching TV in their homes for the first time. They had this screen where their newscasters or their favorite late night hosts were talking directly to the screen. And so psychologists were interested in how we were processing those people that were seen on screen. So researchers Donald Horton and Richard Wool decided to investigate this puzzling connection between TV personalities and their audiences. As they peeled back the layers, Horton and Wool discovered that these TV stars were absolute pros at creating a cozy sense of intimacy and familiarity, especially when they would break the fourth wall during commercial breaks and talk right to you, the audience. By speaking directly to viewers, a funny thing happened. They actually managed to create an illusion of friendship, even though that relationship was totally one-sided. And the reason it exists is all to do with how our brains are hardwired to take in information, especially human faces. I've done a lot of interviews with people about their connections to characters and celebrities. What we found is that we process new faces the same way, whether we see those faces in person or see them on screen. I mean, technology moves pretty fast, faster than our biology can keep up with. We've had just film and radio for about a hundred years. That's it. It's been popular mass media for such a short period of time compared to the rest of the time we've been on this earth. So Horton and Wool wrote the definitive research paper on this phenomenon, and they called it a parasocial relationship. Zoom ahead to today, and we're living in the social media era where the parasocial relationship has skyrocketed. You know, people are forming these perceived relationships with not just TV and movie personalities, but influencers, TikTokers, even small business owners like yourself, all thanks to the incredible power of video content. So what's the real upside of putting out regular video content and encouraging these parasocial relationships from your prospects to your business? I found this out for myself firsthand. You know, back in 2010, long before I was here on YouTube, I was a web designer with my own small studio. I was doing okay, I had clients, and the way I got them was pretty standard. They'd find my website from a Google search, they'd set up a consultation call, and they'd pretty much just sit back, arms folded, and they wanted me to really prove my worth to them. They'd start off by asking me how much a website is, and then I'd explain that, you know, I have this deep discovery process to get to know what they need out of the website to get them more business from it. And that made sense to some people, but most were just like, okay, that's nice, but how much for a website and how fast can I get it? And my close rate from those calls was maybe 50%, and I'd make usually like two to six grand for a website. So, it was a grind and not a really profitable one at that. Then right around 2017, I started this YouTube channel. It didn't take off overnight, but slowly but surely, I started noticing little changes. I was getting more consult call requests and something even better. When I was on those calls, the energy was just different. It wasn't uncommon for my prospective clients to start it off by saying something like, oh my God, I feel like I know you already. And even, I can't believe I'm talking to you. What? And as flattering as that was in itself, the real benefit came in the form of more clients being booked at higher prices because, you know, due to higher demand, I was able to start charging more and I was getting a lot more cooperation for my clients too because they'd already seen my methods on YouTube. They were much more bought into my process. In other words, they trusted me to do my thing way more than they ever were pre-YouTube. And the way they'd been watching my little YouTube videos, one, then another, then another, 
their brains treated those 10 minute one-sided interactions as if I was talking to them one-on-one -on -one over coffee. And you can't recreate that same feeling from writing blog posts or posting images. Video has the distinct advantage over just about every other form of content. And you've got it pretty good right now. Pretty much every social platform's rewarding short form video content and your future customers are watching a lot of it. So all you really need to do is create bite-sized 30 second clips on a regular basis to achieve the same thing that I had to make 10 minute plus videos for. So here are some of my best tips to help make your videos work even harder for you. Be authentic, you know, people can just sense when you're being genuine and that authenticity goes a really long way in establishing trust. So show your true self in your videos and don't be afraid to share your personality, your values, even some behind the scenes moments. So this is not the time for your buttoned up professional self. I don't care what industry you're in. This is Dr. Dre. Nope, not that one, this one. She's a dermatologist with a massive YouTube following and while she could be in a lab coat in her office reading from a super polished script that she wrote, she doesn't do it that way and she's a doctor. She's not preoccupied with how professional she comes across. She's casual. She's just giving you advice from her bedroom a lot of the time, which really contributes to her feeling less like someone lecturing you on why you should be wearing sunscreen and more like your good friend who just happens to be a doctor giving you her best advice. Tell stories. Our brains are wired to latch onto and respond to stories. So share your journey, your successes, and even your struggles. This is gonna help humanize your brand and create a connection that's pretty hard to resist. Engage with your audience, encourage comments and questions from your viewers, and take the time to respond thoughtfully. This interaction helps strengthen that bond and shows your audience that you genuinely care about them. Educate and entertain, you know, offer value to your viewers by sharing those helpful tips, tricks, or insights that are related to your industry. You know, keep it interesting and engaging so they watch not one, but two, three, 20 of your videos. And as powerful as video is on your website, there are actually seven more elements that any website needs to not only help your prospects trust you more, but to make it that much more of a no brainer to wanna to work with you over your competitors. And I've got them all in this video right here. So just click here to watch and I'm gonna show you what you may still be missing. So I'll see you right here in just a second.